Sometimes strength lies not in the defense, but in the attack. Hello YouTube, this is Chris Maniac, your friendly neighborhood maniac, bringing you folks in the Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This is an OU match versus Alberto and I found him in the PSS. And um, I'm, not, I'm gonna take this like intro just to take the opportunity to say that I'm not that busy anymore. I can upload once per day now, well hopefully anyways, I'm gonna try to. But um, there's no guarantees, but I'm gonna try my best to upload one Pokemon battle per day. And I'll keep a constant stream of uh, content for you guys. Anyways, um, we have both our OU teams right here. His team looks pretty threatening. All those Pokemon are threats in this team. I can see no special attackers though in this team, which is really strange. But um, yeah, this is an old game. This is a really fast game. It's very hyper offensive, as you can see, because Needle King makes it really fast. <laughs> anyway, this comes Dragonite. I bring in Khan just to lead off because I know that he was leading. I mean, I, I was expecting him to lead off with Ferrothorn. Anyway, this comes Conkholder. His uh, um, his pro his supposed special wall probably because these guys tend to have um, assault vests. But I got crit on the first attack, and that was very lucky because now I can just to KO his Conkholder, which probably has assault vest, and he can probably like um, hit me back really hard earlier on. But now his special wall is out, and then comes Ferrothorn. I can take this out in one shot with a flamethrower. Maybe he was over predicting me to like switch out right there or to like do something else. But nope, his Ferrothorn just goes down right away. So, like, get, uh, my Needle King is just burning and like ice beaming and thunderbolting everything in this guy's team. It's absolutely annihilating everything. He's forced to bring in his Mega Pokemon out right away in the beginning of the match. And I am like uh, gonna just um, thunderbolt it. Like, there's no other thing that I'm gonna do. Why wouldn't I thunderbolt? And that does like 60% to it. He goes for a Dragon Nats right here. I'm not at least, I'm not like one bit worried because like uh, I have I have a big lead in my Pokemon, in my opponent right now. I just took out two of his Pokemon. I crippled this Gyarados, and now um, I can just deal with this. So Nido King has done a lot of damage this match. Even though it's Yu Yu, it really wrecks an OU sometimes when you when you're presented with the right circumstances. Anyways, even at plus one, my Alakazam still outspeeds his uh, Gyarados, which is kind of sad. But I'm timid max speed, so yeah. Um, in comes this Dragonite right here. And I have... And by the way, um, that speed, that um, me outspeeding that Gyarados earlier, didn't matter because I had a Focus Sash. I would have knocked it out regardless. Anyways, in comes this Dragonite, he Dragon Dances, and my face, and I'm, and I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. I have a plan. Because I'm going to Trick Room, and then I'm going to... Break this, um, break this, uh, Dragonite's multi-scale, and under Trick Room, this Dragonite will be, um, quote-unquote, slower, and then my Umbreon will come in and foul play for the win and destroy this Dragonite. And I see Extreme Speed, my Arenaclist, that's like, uh, 60% to it, that's a lot of damage, considering that's only, uh, um, base 80 non-stab move, because my Arenaclist is really, really bulky. Anyways, I break his, uh, I break his multi-scale with, uh, Psy Shock, that is fine, that is great, my Reniclus has accomplished his job of setting up Trick Room and uh, um, breaking his Mother Scale because next, I'm going to bring him, bring him Umbreon. And Umbreon, you all, all you folks know and love him as the foul player. He fights dirty and um, he doesn't really give a damn about that because uh, Honor, he doesn't care about Honor. He cares about destroying the other Pokemon's, other opponent's Pokemon. Anyways, I take out the Dragonite and then comes Gliscor. Um, because he probably wants to talk to me or something at this point. Anyways, we're in Daxty right here. And here starts like a few, a couple of mind games because um, he goes for Toxic, right? And I was thinking that he, he would protect next turn. So I, I would go for a move that is not um, Ice Fang. And then I would Oko him the next turn when he used up his Protect turn with an Ice Fang. So that's what my plan is right now. But instead, he doesn't go for the Protect. He just goes for a plain old uh, knockoff, I think. So I Mega Ball into my Mega Aerodactyl. This Mega is so underrated, but it's so good, I love it. His coverage moves are just so epic. He doesn't go for Protect right, right there, which is kind of not, um, which is like really shocking. I kind of o him with Ice Fang, but um, nope, that's so, that Stun Edge still got crit though, which is pretty nice, but um, a nice Fang would do much better. Anyways, I was thinking that he would go for the Protect right there, but he said he goes for the Roost, so this leads me to think that he doesn't have 
the um, protect. So um, right here, I just go. I just say, oh well, just uh, I'm just gonna go for the ice bang, whatever. I don't care if you go for a protect. I'll just spam it. And um, yeah, I go for the ice bang right here. He's at full health. I was hoping I would knock him out, and then it, it does indeed knock him out. So that the score is down for that count. It's like uh, it's one KO glitch score. I'm hurt by poison right here. Doesn't really matter. I finished off his glitch score, which is great. And uh, yeah, that's, that shows you how great Mega Aerodactyl is. It can break through the premier physical walls of the OU meta game at this point, which is Skarmory and um, glitch score. Because he has super effective moves, which hits most of them super effectively. And uh, even Gyarados can't stand against my, um, my Aerodactyl because he has Thunder Fang also. And Thunderfang would at times for super effectively hit my hit a Gyarados. So yeah, like just make a Mega Aerodactyl people because they're very good. Anyways, fortunately hit my focus blast right there with my Alakazam, not most extra and his plus two source dance is kind of useless at this point, and I defeated Alberto. So that was a very short OU game. Um yeah, so I I was, this game was just here just to, to, to say that I am gonna upload once per day now, hopefully. And um, I'm saying that uh, Nido King and Mega, Mega, Mega Aerodactyl is really good, so make one. <laughs> Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you folks next time.